good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European trading session for Thursday, the uh, 6th of October 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market reaction today and price action, very strange, not adher adhering to my uh, trading strategy or trading plan at the moment. Uh, certainly under at present and uh, on my uh, Euro longs and my uh, uh, EU uh, on my CAC and my Euro stocks longs as well. Okay, so let's see. Well, let's try and decipher exactly what's happened in terms of fundamentals over the last, uh, let's just say, 12 hours, okay, or 24 hours since my last video. So basically, we had a report yesterday from Mr. Schauble. A Handelsblatt German newspaper basically stating that uh, the German government would uh, uh, enact uh, basically a um, up to in excess of six billion uh, euros in tax cuts. Okay, now as any um, student of uh, economics would uh, tell you, tax cuts generally is positive for growth and therefore uh, drives jobs growth and drives the economy and consumption pattern and so on and so forth. So. In, 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 what it basically means is that European equities should technically go higher, okay, based on this report of job cuts. And that's not just European equities as in DAX, but the whole region, because it really is a stimulus, uh, given the fact that there has been criticism with the Germans uh, trade surplus, okay, its trade balance being very positive, okay, after having paid off the World War debt, given their export machine certainly is very efficient, very powerful, okay, so... It certainly seems that uh, the uh, Germans are listening, okay, especially given the concerns of Deutsche Bank and so on and so forth, and they're going to enact these cuts. Now, that's whilst uh, the ECB's QE is ongoing. Now, there has been talk of a taper tantrum, okay, and that's one of the reasons why I'm long Euro. Uh, obviously, uh, rumours and talk of a consensus being built that the uh, the EU will uh, taper its uh, bond buys or monthly bond buys, and therefore, obviously, that is bullish Euro because, obviously, lack of QE. That is actually negative for the equities as well. But with this report of German tax cuts, obviously it cushions a blow, okay? It certainly cushions a blow and reduces a blow. So these are all fundamental arguments that can be very subjective in nature. So as a trader, it's, it certainly is tough, okay? Especially when the market is not adhering to your narrative. Okay, so that was one report. Then we had the EU, basically PMI data yesterday from Europe. And overall net, net negative then we had stronger economic data from the US and that obviously uh, triggered the concerns with regards to a uh, a rate hike okay and that certainly sent European well certainly did not did, well, failed to send uh, the uh, US markets lower so again that's certainly some, something to consider although the European US uh, markets or US futures are down today on the back of this potential Twitter failure okay Twitter report coming out stating that it's a failure so again, that certainly is something to consider as well, okay, in terms of uh, uh, market reaction. So so going into the two uh, today, overnight, we had uh, Australian imports, exports certainly weaker than expected, okay, uh, German factory orders stronger than expected, German G um, basically growth uh, forecasts raised, okay, and obviously we have this potential tax cut as well. So everything indicated a potential rally in European equities, and that did... Uh, initially start until it actually caved in. Now we are also had reports with regards to oil uh, in terms of oil you clearly see a daily chart now we are uh, hitting that upper level at $50 okay looking for the next potential resistance at 52 with the uh, oil inventory data certainly uh, indicating a bullish uh, momentum for the price of oil given the uh, potential reduction in supply so again all those factors adding together indicating a potential uh, bullish move on the FTSE 100 okay especially with oil touching 50 uh, obviously sterling at present currently languishing at the 1.27 level uh, even dipping lower given the fact that we had stronger a uh, stronger dollar okay and that certainly hasn't been the case FTSE 100 certainly moving in the opposite direction mainly due to easyjet okay easyjet potential profit warnings certainly hurting growth etc certainly spooking the sector and personal and household goods uh, sector certainly hitting uh, and certainly getting hurt okay so that's that certainly remains a situation there okay now let's look at the markets from a technical perspective okay given the fact that I've summed up all the fundamental arguments again bear in mind that uh, you have uh, number one stronger factory orders number two um, German growth forecast raise number three uh, stronger 
you're basically tax cuts sorry tax cuts okay so tax cuts factory orders and obviously german growth forecast raise okay now the daily chart on the german dax is holding resistance is holding resistance so the theory of a potential tax cut being positive for the market certainly is being tested okay again if if, uh, if i'm stopped out of my long positions i'm happy to uh, obviously change my bias and uh, certainly switch my opinion okay but for now certainly going and sticking with the uh, german tax cuts being a net net positive for german economy okay and obviously you for the eurozone as a whole 10 minute chart you clearly see here we did gap up on the back of that uh, potential news of german tax cuts and then we've certainly failed thereafter you can see in the 10 minute chart we have carved out a potential hns formation okay so and the hns formation almost complete now let's just look at this uh, pivot high 10640 down to uh, 10585 so you're looking at a 55 point drop 10585 should take it down to 35 and we're there okay 85 looking at a 55 point drop yep so back down to 30 so we've certainly hit the hns tar uh, hns target you have support around the 10530 so again you're looking for potential pop at 10530 support is in at 10490 okay so again like i said stronger german data okay stronger fa uh, factory orders uh, str german growth forecast raise a german tax cut as well okay uh, especially with the euro now below 1.12 it's basically uh, it's a equity um, rally in the making basically okay especially with the FTSE 100 as well you've got oil still at the 49.5 uh, copper certainly uh, making a bottom okay Aussie Kiwi wolf coming into support again ingredients for an equity market rally okay the German DAX certainly into support here okay 10530 completes HNS so looking for a short squeeze French CAC okay let's look at the French CAC daily chart the French CAC at the moment still from my perspective given the german tax cuts okay you are looking at consolidation for a before a move higher here 60 minute chart yes you have been you have rejected gap fill which is a concern from a large expense you from a, well basically from looking at a 10 minute chart you can clearly see here the market closes the gap and then obviously reverse you also have a hns formation on the french cac as well just bear that in mind okay uh, although the technical pattern may be weak, fundamentals from my perspective certainly bullish, especially with the German tax cut. And you can see the HNS playing out into 200 MA. The pivot high is at 4510, uh, 4490, so for a 20 point drop, and we're basically down to 4470. So HNS there is certainly complete, okay? HNS there is certainly complete, okay? Right, so that's certainly a situation with regards to French cap looking for a potential pop, okay? Looking at the FTSE 100 now. Okay, so I've just taken a long position, the FTSE at 7007 average. Okay, certainly closed my FTSE longs now for plus 20. Okay, so that was a nice little trade. Okay, uh, again, uh, you clearly see here, starting to reverse on the 10 minute chart. Okay, starting to reverse on the 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart, I'd adhere to 75% into previous resistance equals support, and obviously it's bullish engulfing ensued. Held the Fib 75, held previous resistance equals support, and then is now starting to bounce. Daily chart still has this potential bull flag scenario, even though we have a topping tail at the top uh, above at 711 or uh, 7100, still looking uh, semi bullish. Okay, so Ben, again, uh, take that into your stride. Okay, so Theresa Mays and Broad Mr. Broadbent's comments yesterday uh, indicating that uh, weaker sterling basically means no additional QE, certainly hurting the FTSE 100 along with the uh, EasyJet uh, profit warning. Okay, folks. Okay, so all that's uh, basically been explained now. Let's look at the uh, euro stocks last but not least and again like i said my buy still remains bullish on euro stocks although uh, price action at present is certainly contradicting that okay i was i did expect this uh, symmetrical wedge pattern to be broken and obviously we started to push higher up to 3050 on the upside and that certainly hasn't transpired so again my analysis hasn't been right there okay especially with german tax cuts has a potential uh, obviously uh, uh, indication okay or a potential fundamental catalyst for a move higher okay so uh, certainly this bullish engulfing candle isn't healthy this topping tail certainly isn't healthy in terms of price action okay although this bottoming tail yesterday certainly put, put me off okay uh, so again keep observing keep observing in the observation phase from my perspective okay so yesterday's pivot high certainly uh, certainly held which was uh, again i had a chance of closing my euro stocks long to plus 10 and switching my bias but i held on expecting the uh, the breakout of the daily chart as you can see here this symmetrical wedge we did break above 
and then obviously testing 3015 up to 3100 on the back of German tax cuts. That certainly didn't transpire. So it certainly seems like uh, uh, the uh, the philosophy of uh, uh, fiscal expansion and uh, substitution for, for monetary expansion that certainly seems to be the uh, the rule of uh, uh, the uh, central banks or even good German governments, especially Mr. Draghi visiting the um, the Germans last week. Okay, so again, certainly he got a rollicking or a, a, a from there, and uh, it certainly seems like the uh, the game is being switched from one of a monetary policy game to a, to a fiscal policy game. So again, that's going to be interesting to observe whether or not that's bullish or bearish for European equities. Again, uh, the jury is out. Okay. So if they uh, start to uh, well start their taper, uh, obviously reducing the uh, monthly bond buys and therefore uh, causing the euro to uh, to move higher, which hasn't been the case yet. I mean I've been long the euro since yesterday. Stop losses at 1.1176, still waiting, okay, for a potential euro rally, and that hasn't ensued. So is this bullish or bearish? Again, jury is out. My understanding is it's bullish given German tax cuts, whilst QE still is ongoing. So interesting, okay. Interesting again, allow the market to dictate, allow the market to tell me. I'll sit back. Uh, my trades obviously are in based on my understanding and my analysis, and uh, stop losses are there to protect me. Okay, folks, on that note, wish you well. Please do visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.